boys and girls. Today's story is Bad Dog Marley, written by John Grogan and illustrated by Richard Cowdery. In a little house on Churchill Road lived a very happy family. There was one mummy, one daddy, one freckle-faced girl named Cassie, and one crawly, squirmy boy named Baby Louie. He had a giant droopy diaper and a thumb that rarely left his mouth. The family had two parakeets, three goldfish, and four pet crickets. But there was one thing the family did not have, and that was a dog. Oh, please, 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 begged Cassie. Please, can we get a puppy? Peas, cried baby Louie. We'll see, said Daddy. We'll see, said Mummy. Cassie and Louie waited and waited until Daddy came home from work one day carrying a cardboard box. Hey, everyone, come see, he yelled. In the box was a squiggly yellow fur ball with a black wet nose and ears so big and floppy they looked like he'd borrowed them from an elephant. A puppy, Cassie squealed. Bow wow, cried baby Louie. This, Daddy said, is Marley. Ah, said Mommy, look how tiny he is. But Marley didn't stay tiny for long. That puppy ate and he ate and he ate. He ate what was in his dish and he ate what wasn't. He drank and he drank and he drank. He drank what was in his bowl. He drank what wasn't. Uh-oh. The more he ate and the more he drank, the bigger he grew, and he grew, and he grew, and he grew. And the bigger Marley got, the bigger trouble he got into. Big, big, bad boy trouble. Marley ate the buttons off jackets and the laces off shoes. He tipped over his water bowl and raided the trash. He pulled the toilet paper off the roll and the turkey out of the oven. He chewed Mummy's reading glasses and swallowed Daddy's paycheck. Uh-oh. Bad dog, Marley, Daddy said. Bad dog, Marley, Mummy said. Bad dog, Marley, Cassie said. Ba boo boo waddy, Baby Louie said. Marley tried to be a good dog. Honest, he did, but everything he tried ended up bad. He tried to make friends with the squirrels. Bad dog, Marley, Mummy said. He tried to play house with Cassie and Louie. Bad dog, Marley, Cassie said. Bah, boo boo, waddy, baby Louie said. He tried to find a safe hiding place during thunderstorms. Bad dog, Marley, Daddy said. One day, Mummy baked cookies and left them on the counter to cool. Big mistake. The next day, Mummy baked a chocolate cake and put it high on top of the refrigerator. You won't get this, she said. Uh-oh, what do you think? You think he's going to get it? But Marley got it every last crumb. Another time, Marley jumped over the fence and came home with a giant pair of underwear. I don't even want to know, Daddy said. One day, Marley finally went too far. The family came home from a movie to find an indoor snowstorm. There in the corner of the living room was the abominable snow Marley. Uh-oh, said baby Louie. Oh, look it. He got into the couch. Oh dear, and tore it all up. That's it, Mummy said. That dog has got to go. Please, Mummy, Cassie cried. Marley didn't mean it. He can't help it. I'm sorry, Mummy said. I can't take it anymore. Marley was very, very sad. I try so hard and I mess everything up, everything. Daddy put an ad in the newspaper. Big yellow dog, a little crazy, but with a pure heart, free to good home. 
Strangers came to meet the big, crazy, pure-hearted dog, and everyone received the same royal Marley welcome. No thanks, they all said. Then one day Marley proved he was right where he belonged. Mummy was in the bedroom folding clothes when Marley started barking. Bad dog, Mar Mummy scolded. Pipe down. But Marley would not pipe down. He barked and he barked. Then Mummy heard Cassie scream, Come quick, it's Louie. Mummy raced for the kitchen. My baby, she cried. Look where Louie is, way up on top of the refrigerator. Before Mummy could take a step, Marley raced up the drawers, leaped onto the counter, jumped up on his hind legs, and grabbed baby Louie by his great big droopy diaper. Marley would not let go until Mummy had her baby safe in her arms. Good dog, Marley, Mummy said. Good dog, Marley, Daddy said. Good dog, Marley, Cassie said. Me go again, baby Louie said. <coughs> Marley jumped on the floor and did the Marley Mambo. Finally, I did something right. Does this mean, Cassie asked, Mummy looked at Marley doing his crazy dance. She looked at Cassie, then at Daddy. She squeezed baby Louie in her arms. Finally, she looked back at Marley. Oh, please, 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 Mummy, Cassie said. Peas, baby Louie said. A little smile came to Mummy's face. This is Marley's home, and we are his family, she said. And we love him very much, Daddy added, slobber and all. So Marley can stay, asked Cassie. Yes, Mummy said, Marley can stay. Yay, said Cassie. Yay, said baby Louie. Woof, said Marley and gave Mummy the biggest, fattest kiss of her life. Good dog, Marley. The end. I hope you liked the story. Do you know a dog like Marley? Have a great day, everyone. I love you. Bye.